Welcome to Six Sides of Battletech Alpha Strike Commander's Edition. We are leveling up your gameplay experience from outside of the box to just how far down the rabbit hole you can go with fun. I'm here with Demo Agent Ed and the Grand Poobah of Battletech, Randall Bills. Hello, guys. Welcome. Help, uh, happy to be here. Excited to be here. We have I was, got I was just crazy. telling. Yeah, I was just telling Ed, I'm looking at this, and I just desperately want to, like, turn the camera off and start playing the game. So, uh, I mean, this is a detail. <laughs> so, so what does he want to cover here? So we've, we've done the Alpha Strike video, which you'll see in the comments below. It's the introduction to Alpha Strike. We've played a couple of playthroughs, um, and now we are just going, I think the only word to say is baller. And I'll just right. click it over there. Baller. Look at this. What is, what is happening right now? All right, so like the box is an amazing place to start and we just kind of want to cover how far you can take this with this game. So it's like an infinitely expandable toolkit. Mm -hmm. right? um, beyond the starter box, if you upgrade to the Alpha Strike Commander's Edition, uh -huh. this is the core book for the game. This is everything you need to play Alpha Strike. Like everything? Like everything. Like there's like, if you only have that book, yep. And right. all the models and things, right. then you can just go yeah. to town. And you can you can yep. go you can go as much in whatever direction you like that you want, right? So if you love terrain, you that's the way you can it gives take you it. Additional terrain rules? Yep, there's additional terrain rules. There's so many rules for uh, like jungles, magma fields. Oh well, so like yep. legit like yep. terrain. Oh yeah, like, you can go super alien worlds, super you can go worlds. in this case super yep. urbanized. Yep. Lots of city. Now I love to I love to build and create battlefields, so like this is my convention setup. Um, so you can you can you can take it all the way and uh, build out a, a massive battlefield. So how does this so how does this differ from just the, uh, the, the cards there? Like the cards are compatible with it. Yep. This is just stacked on rules. Right. To the, the complexity or the detail creep that you can do to the game when you're ready to level up to that level, right? So what this really gives you is extra rules for the vehicles, the infantry, right? We have VTOLs. Oh, my uh, God. Helicopters. Where right? do these guys come from? So there are full rules for transport. They're metal. Oh, yep. God. Ironwind yeah, so, metals. Yeah, Ironwind Metals, uh, Mike No and his team are fantastic. They've been producing metal miniatures for decades at this point. Uh, and they, if you want to go in the combined arms direction and go beyond just the great plastics that we provide, you can go over to Ironwind Metals, pick up all the vehicles and infantry, aerospace fighters, VTOLs. These aren't like, these aren't official, are they? Uh, they are, absolutely. Oh, these are official yes, these Battletech? Are, these are official Battletech miniatures. Wow, I didn't know. I thought yep. there was just a third party. No. Nope. Like nope. these nope. planes and everything too? Yep, all of it. All of it are found in the various technical readouts. Um, now, uh, just to throw in a product placement, uh, the new Battletech Mercenaries Kickstarter that we'll be launching sometime this fall, not only will it have a whole slew of cool new uh, battle mechs in it, but we will actually be introducing new plastic vehicles oh so we're super excited about that but until you get there or if you want to go way more than the kickstarter could ever provide again we love iron wind metals love to support them you can get all of these extra units oh there god this iron cool. wind has so many units yep yep so obviously and they've been doing this for a while i noticed you have time. the infantry here too yep, as well. yep. Infantry. absolutely uh even helicopter backpack vtol infantry these guys actually they fly they're at a specified height they can go up and constantly down constantly yep um, regular inf infantry can zip line drop out of the transports. Now, I don't want to jump too ahead of the game here, but like, what can infantry do to mechs? So infantry are really awesome with anti-mech attacks. If they can get close, they can basically put bombs on the legs. Or like... Oh, uh, classic AT-AT style. Yep. These ones here, the uh, urban heavy infantry urban response platoon add heat damage on their attacks. So they're doing oh, giant flamers. That's they're doing giant really flamers. good. Yep. Right. And so one-on-one... -on -one, Infant, uh, the, the battle mech is always going to win, uh, but if you don't pay attention or if you get a little too arrogant around a nice good set of platoons, then you can start getting yourself in trouble. Because the heat, as I've seen in the previous version, yep. was quite uh, quite effective. Devastating. Yep. It's very, very devastating. Yeah. Took out one of your mechs. So I did, I did lie a little bit. You need this book, 
to play all of this, but you also need the unit cards. Okay, but these, well, yes, the unit cards are part that come with the these. Uh, so the unit cards that come with the force packs, the yes. beautiful dry erase ones, they're mm. gorgeous. But um, all the units in the Battle Effect universe, just about, have free unit cards on MasterUnitList.info. I see. Okay, so you can go on and use the Force Builder and print these off. Uh, you can laminate them yourself. You laminate yeah, them yeah, yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, you're going this, if you're going this in depth with... I, I put them in card sheets. Yeah, yeah. Like, card sheets is how yeah. I do it. It's perfect. Yeah. But there's something... Last time I looked, there was 9,800 Alpha Strike cards that contained the letter A. Yeah. There's something That's like 16,000 base chassis. So what you're saying is the replayability is through the roof. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not just, sure there's another game that might have more replayability. <laughs> <laughs> but really, this was just... You know, showing you that, as Ed was pointing out, the, the depth of wherever you want to go. You can have entire huge combined armed armies clashing. You can have huge urban centers. You can have huge amounts of jungle and other wild terrains. You can battle in space if you want to. Uh, it's just a toolkit that wherever you want to take it, it's willing to take you there. It's just, do you want to go there? So I have a question for you. The so a lot of worlds that are like this that have existed for decades and and, and around for a long time they have uh, like uh, fan driven sites as well. So is there a lot of like I know for Dungeons and Dragons for example because it's a classic they've got their unearthed arcana and other places that people can go and submit their builds their likes their their whatever. Um, does this have official versus non official or is there like a site where basically where things go? to get tested or things go to get created? Can people create their own battletech -y kind of stuff? So there, one of the things that Battletech had from the very beginning and has stayed through all of this is you have your own construction rules. So absolutely, if you want to be building your own designs and doing that all yourself, that's fine. Uh, we do have a uh, magazine called the Shrapnel Magazine that is actually a perfect place for people who think they have a cool design or a cool story to go along with a cool design that they can submit to, that then we'll go through our review process with uh, Phil Lee, who's the uh, publication editor, uh, and you might see your stuff published there. So absolutely, you, you have channels to go do that. So you can literally pick up, uh, like I could create like, like the, the, the Pegasus mech or something, and, and put together some stats for it or something and then if it gets if it gets respected or if it gets like published then it's considered not canon or maybe canon until Catalyst says so but it becomes something that people can play in games it, is so, there a difference between tournament play or uh, well tournament play is something that Battletech hasn't really done very much at all of over the years um, we are just starting to put our foot down in that now that we have all of these really great tools in place. So I don't want to go too much far down that road. I can, if you like. Sure. So on the demo team, uh, the Catalyst demo team is working at putting together better and better tournament support. So there is the BTCC for classic tournaments. Mm -hmm. That's classic hex-based battle, battle, oh, battle that's, tournaments. I see, old school. Um, as well, CDT is supporting um, the BTCC 400 point Alpha Strike tournament format. It's a work in progress. Um, as well, there's the Wolfnet 350 tournament format. Okay, so there are tournament there formats. Are, yeah, and I think as you as we head into next year, uh, you're going to see more and more support for that. Well, there's a big renaissance for Battletech Abs right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Massive. And because a of massive the, renaissance. Because of that renaissance, we're dealing with. Uh, I mean, it, it would be, it would be remiss to not. Uh, put that support or play or something in there. I know yep. you guys are doing it. There's a lot of work, but I mean, it is a big resurgence yep. Yep. as of late. And like I said, if that's the way you want to play, then that's the direction you go, right? You can play um, competitive formats, or if you like to play narrative formats, like this could be a recreation Scenario of a battle driven, yeah. straight out of a novel or, or one of the source books. Yeah, the, the two key source books have Alpha Strike stats yep. for Absolutely. all the scenarios. So if you want to create, uh, my favorite one is Turning Point's Helm. The big battle at the end of that nice. one is massive. So many tanks on the field. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Breton. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the tanks protected on this uh. So we talked a lot about uh, the replayability and the customization of this game, which seems basically blue ocean, like it's endless. Uh, so building forces, uh, can you tell me a bit about that? There's always another force I want to build. So, <laughs> I'm, so many factions in the I'm Battletech universe. <laughs> in the middle of painting up the Grey Death Legion, because um, you can 
built that almost with uh, all the new force pack miniatures. Yep. I've still got to figure out what to do with all my clan mechs from the Kickstarter, so I want to split those into Goliath Scorpions, Wolf Empire, and Jade Falcons, and nice. use them as Op 4, yeah, yeah. so that I can run a campaign and have the Jade Falcons play as the bad guys. Nice. Yeah, and so they are the bad guys. And, and he's able to do that both from the rules that are in here, but also in the master unit list online. Mm -hmm. You can go in and literally, you know, be flicking through the pages in this book or in the Alpha Strike box set. Flick through the pages, find the things that you think are, hey, this logo looks really cool. These mechs look really cool. Start there on the master unit list, and it'll literally select the mechs that you can choose from. It'll just walk you right through that. Wow. And if you... You know, uh, and uh, bg.battletech.com is the official website, and on the forums, uh, there's always a great group of people in there that are happy to provide help and guidance. So it's a great community, a uh, great place to jump in and just start playing. I'm, I'm in awe at the scale. Like, you can really see the scale of the mechs versus the infantry now. And I mean, there's always this, uh, this this separation between the size of the mech and the terrain, you see. Yep. But then when you start putting things like a tank, which mm -hmm. in real life, you can, you can it's hard yeah, yeah. to say a real life mech because yeah. there's no real life mechs really. But <coughs> yep. if you can see, you, people know what tanks look like and yep. they, have, they have ideas behind tanks. But this is super neat. It's, it's part of why combined arms is so enjoyable is because it does have that verisimilitude mm -hmm. that is and so immersive. It works seamlessly in Alpha Strike. Yeah. Right. Infantry and tanks, they're super easy to play in Alpha Strike. So this terrain, is this terrain something you built? Is this terrain something you, you a combination thereof? Like this is really good terrain. How would you what would you recommend for people going and trying to get terrain like this? Well, so I'm located in Canada. Yeah. So this terrain I got all from Steel Warrior Studios. It's, and that's a Canadian based studio. That's a, a third Canadian. party, doesn't third have party. any associations right. from with us, just, just that, building just magnificent terrain. You'll notice it's on hexes. It's compatible with classic Battletech. I see. And I is it this, is it pre painted or do you have to paint no, it? No, this is all painted by me. Yeah. Really well done. Thank you. So what do you what do you think this setup cost outside um, of your time for painting and stuff? I'm going to want to say the, the terrain itself was about $200. Okay. That's Canadian. very reasonable. Canadian. So. Canadian. Also like five bucks right. American. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. And, uh, like six. <laughs> six dollars Six fifty nine. <laughs> the mat was maybe another $80. Oh, the mats. Canadian? Oh, yeah, the mats are, the mats yeah. are yeah, pretty standard. Is this gamer mat or is this as well? Yep. Neoprene gaming mat. Yeah. Yep. But is this also from the, the Winnipeg guys? Um, or is this uh, Gamer Mats? This one's uh, Third Party Deep Cut Studios. Deep Cuts, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. a few in Europe that do really good maps. Yeah, too. we've uh, joked about the fact that like we are so spoiled with neoprene. Like I can't ever play without some gorgeous neoprene right? on it the is, table now. The we're we're just spoiled, yeah. Yep. I admit it. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. And I do want to mention, I'm just looking at the size of this engagement. This is probably three and a half hours. This is three I, and a half hours I, of, an Alpha Strike of an Alpha Strike game. Yep. One Which evening is, and you're done. So mm -hmm. one evening and you're done versus Battletech. Oh, this, this would be days. Weeks. <laughs> Might be weeks depending on who you're playing with. But, <laughs> but they're two different games for two different things, right? Absolutely. Yeah. They're two different and, experiences. So if you don't... And, and only really dumb people go supersized in Battletech. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, we're all, <laughs> we, we all... We definitely... Um, <laughs> so do you have the, the table... Do you have the table set up at home where you just start the game and then people come over every week, but the game doesn't get touched? It's like that chess So game. I, I don't have that now. Uh, I used to joke that when I was back in high school all those many years ago that we actually had uh, three of my friends. We had perpetual games set up in each of our houses. So every time we showed up, we'd just play a turn or two. So we're pretty confident. Like my junior year, I think I played like 300 days of Battletech. One fight. <laughs> just because every single day, hey, let's get a turn in. You know, I just couldn't ever get enough of it. So this is a never-ending toolbox of a rule set. You can really, there are so many tools in here to build whatever you want out of your game. If you like battlefield support, if you like artillery, there's full aerospace rules in here too for aerospace oh fighters. So you can so, you literally do an entire yeah, aerospace yeah, game without yeah, any, yep, any yep, max whatsoever. Yeah, it could yeah. be just you up in your, space. Your Shilone uh, plastic fighter out of the Kickstarter could be flying over here and doing strafing runs across these units or dropping the light strikes that we saw earlier. So good. Battletech Alpha Strike. Commander's Edition. Uh, that was a review with the uh, demo agent Ed and the Grand Poobah of Battletech, Randall. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and please check out Alpha Strike. It is, it's totally worth doing. Thank you for watching. For watching. Thank you.